everyone, it's Anthony and it is March 26th, 2022 and this is a, another live sound log. Today I will be with the band Blackstone, I was with them last time. Today we're going to be at the Bay House in uh, Breezy Point, Queens, uh, New York. And if you haven't been down to Breezy Point, you should know that they definitely love live music down there. So, we've already been there before, so we know what the setup is, kind of. Uh, there is a loading ramp in the back that we're going to utilize this time around. And, um, that's pretty much it. So, I did shoot some footage uh, before this that I do want you to see. So, check it out. Talk to you in a bit. Gotta go. So, generally, the night before a gig, I will charge up my wireless mic batteries and I have 16 of them and these are PowerX 2800 milliamp PowerX Pro 2800 milliamp I believe 2700 milliamp and uh, you could find these anywhere I think B&H still sells them but they have never let me down and I have 16 of them. Uh, I don't need all 16. I have five wireless mics. They take double, two double A's a piece. But I have extras. Um, and it also comes in handy if people uh, forget batteries for their devices and stuff too. Um, I will sometimes carry along additional 9 volt batteries too. Those are not rechargeable. I do not recommend rechargeable 9 volt batteries. All right, so before every gig, I always put the batteries in the microphones before I head out. This way I don't have to do it when I'm there, and it saves me time when I get there. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I just finished packing up the van, and I guess I'll give you a little bit of a tour, starting from the back. This case on top here holds various brackets and things like that, and mic clips, and just an assortment of different items. Um, mostly consisting of cab grabbers and a homegrown kick drum mic bracket that I made. Um, and some microphone clips. Underneath that is uh, a drawer full of drum mics, which I'll cover in another video. And under that is my draw of wireless mics and instrument mics. So for the wireless mics, I use Shure SLX series with uh, SM58 capsules. I uh, actually tried Beta 58 capsules, and to be honest with you, regardless of all the hype, the SM58 capsules actually work better in my situations. So. Um, and under that is the 2U draw with my laptop and power conditioner for the console when it goes on top. And next to that are my homemade PowerCon boxes. This is just a regular extension cord, but underneath that are my PowerCon boxes. So there's one PowerCon in and two out, which Generally, there's only one in and one out, so that's what makes mine unique. And I'll cover these in another video, detailed how I made them. And I also have homemade PowerCon cables, and you save quite a bit of money when you make your own cables, especially with PowerCon. PowerCon just seems to be a lot of money. But um, I ordered like a hundred foot roll from a company that I'll cover when I make this video for the. For the boxes, but I ordered about 100 feet of SJOO cable to make uh, these extend uh, to make these interconnect cables for the PowerCon boxes. Um, next to that is uh, my wireless mics, uh, the receivers, and also under that is my stage box. And it's probably actually reversed. This is probably the stage box, and that's probably the wireless mics because when I load them in the van, I load everything backwards. So when I put it on the dolly, which are homemade dollies, and I'll maybe do a video on those too, but 
when I put everything on the dolly, everything basically gets loaded onto the dolly in reverse. So behind the dolly are my two subs. Those are KS112s, KS112s, uh, QSC. And behind that is the console. And what you can't see is under that are four, four, uh, CP8s, QSC CP8s. And I use those as monitors. And under this dolly right here, uh, we can't see because the light but under that are my two mains, which are QSC uh, K12.2s. That's what they are. <laughs> All right, and behind that is my tub of wires. So those wires, I'll cover in another video what I use, but basically they're wires that go from my stage box to my mains and monitors, which are Siamese cables. And then the other case is like XLR cables and random other cables and um, the network cable to connect the stage box and the uh, console. So that's basically it for loading the van. And that's it. We're going to be at the Bay House today. All right, so I had to go into my box of cables anyway, so I figured I would just do a quick rundown of what I keep in here. So basically we have our XLR cables for all our instruments, a couple of DIs, and some random tools, and a snake, and then a couple additional SM58s that are wired. All right, so this is the loading ramp I was referring to. I gotta get all my gear up that ramp. All right, so I just loaded all my gear in up that ramp, and I have to say it was probably the quickest loading I've ever done. About a half hour to get the entire van completely empty. All right, so after you unload your gear, you gotta go park in a parking lot, because the one that's by the bay house is for residents only. So you gotta go into like a public lot and then walk back over. Not so bad. About two minute walk. So I am on my way home from the gig with Blackstone and it was a great night. We were down at the Bay House in Breezy Point and it was a great crowd, great place. The place treated us great. The food was great. If you ever have a chance, definitely go down there and visit. And that's it. That's it for this evening. Probably stop off at 7-Eleven and grab some food. That's it. All right. Signing off.
Oh my God, why is it only 30 miles an hour on Beach Channel Drive? So silly me forgot to grab the wireless mic batteries last night so I can charge them. <clears throat> I hate it when I do that.